Hurry! These adorable baskets will be given to our neighbors by my children in just a couple hours. And I want to share with you how much fun we've had over the last couple years celebrating May Day. This year for May Day, we'll be giving out these fun little baskets of flowers and goodies. The children earlier helped me make these fun little flowers. We took their leftover homework papers and they also colored with some paint some um, pictures and then we cut them into little petal shapes and then they wrote Happy May Day on them. And all we did was stick a barbecue skewer through two holes so that we have this fun little pick that we could stick into each of our little baskets. And then we also made, he's upside down but he's super cute, these fun little gnome cookies, sugar cookies. And then we just tied them with some baker's twine to also a barbecue skewer and stuck them in. Now to do the outside of the basket, it's just the planter that it came in and you don't have to cover it up but we thought it'd be fun to recycle some of the things that we had around the house to make them a little bit cuter. So here's just leftover paper that we get when we go to stores and they wrap things up so that they don't break coming home. Here we found an old bed sheet that we didn't need anymore so we cut it up and used it to wrap this one as well as just some leftover scrap material that we had that we also cut up and tied around to make a fun little basket. Over here we have different baskets that we're going to give to our cousins and since our cousins are a little bit more special to us, we went to the dollar store and customized their baskets a little bit more for them. So the baskets that we created from the dollar store uh, love the dollar store by the way um, are a little bit more customized for their cousins getting them of course we'll be putting in cookies for them that we've made and then we found some books some sidewalk chalk and bubbles and stuck all these things in here and then put in some tissue paper our little pick and then the cookies on top and it's a fun little customized basket Four cousins. So this will be our fourth year doing May Day baskets with my children and they've had so much fun. My youngest, he's five now, so he's been doing it since he was really little. And it's so fun to watch them run as fast as they can after they ring the doorbell so that they don't get kissed. And I remind them that every year. Nobody's ever tried to kiss them, but it's just so fun to watch them run away as fast as they can. As well as I remember when I was a child with May Day, and how I couldn't wait to run home and make my own May Day baskets to give out to my neighbors. And even in college one year, I had little pots, which are also fun May Day baskets, that I painted and then I just planted some quick growing ryegrass in them and gave them out to the 40 some girls that were living on the floor with me. And they all appreciated it. So while I was making this video, we just got our first May Day basket. So I hope that you have lots of fun with May Day. I know growing up it was so much fun and I just want to pass that on to my children and I hope others embrace it and it's just a fun neighborly way to get out and say hi. Happy May Day. Get up there.